It's uh, mm, uh, yes, Vistas approved. Hi, I'm Adam C, and welcome to an Alfa Romeo GT 1600 Junior. This is DDM Historic's car. We have not seen this car for a year. It's been a year since this has been out. And we are back because we are heading to Classics at the Manor. And this video is brought to you by CarHuddle.com, the free online car show directory. And today's car show is full of classic cars. So we are in the Alfa, heading to, oh, I don't know where to go. Oh, I thought it was straight the whole way. Oh, it's up there. And it's a bit slippery underfoot, because it's January. We're heading to a car show in January in boots. And the reason why I've been a little bit inactive recently is because I've been doing this. <laughs> and luckily this isn't uh, damaged myself this year, so that's good. So hopefully there'll be lots of other classics to look at, but mainly it's nice to see this car again. But I'll catch up with you once we're a little bit closer. Oh no. I'd say it's been postponed. It has. So, the classic of the manor has been postponed due to the weather. It's too wet and it's on a field, so they've just postponed it. Mm. Oh. So, I guess we could find another show. I'm gonna go on to carhuddle.com and try and find what else is on today, because it's what it's there for. Most of that car's gonna be like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah, there's someone filming himself on the phone. <laughs> right, so we've got Bailey's Car Cruise, that's a bit far. Petrol Heads Brick, that's Slough. That could work. That could work. That's like 20 minutes away. Okay. We're going there. So, petrol heads breakfast meet, and it starts in an hour. So, we've got an hour to kill. McDonald's! Oh, there it is. Right, so some good news. We are approaching Marinello's Egg and Ferrari. Got some GTC4 Lusos F12 California 458, 488. What's the main ones in there? Uh, not much. Nothing amazing. There you go. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So there you go. We want to go left. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to live by it. This way. Oh, we're going through. Windsor Castle in the background, ladies and gentlemen. Sightseeing in an Alpha. Where is it? That's where the Queen doesn't live. Oh no, is that the flag? The flag, what does it mean? Does that mean the Queen's there at the, the moment? I think so. The flag's up. Yeah, the flag's up. It means the Queen's there, I thought. Oh, should we pay a visit to Queenie? Aunty Liz. Aunty Liz. <laughs> Old Queen Vic. Good morning. Oh, that is Windsor Castle. I don't think I've ever actually been to Windsor Castle before. Oh, look, we got we tourists got taking pictures of us. Oh, yes. They love it. <laughs> so, we've just spotted a few classic cars in a car park, and we're going to go have a look. And they're probably on their way to the Sight meeting, got let down as well. Taking up all of the road. Saying Practicing that, in cyclists. Don't we both cycle? We both cycle. Yeah. Yes. There is, and a mini. Oh, they're all getting back in their cars. I think these guys were meant to go to the Drive Classics. Yeah. Mm. They are. They have literally come from exactly the same place that we came from and then found out about the meets not being on in exactly the place that we found out. But there you go, 635 CSI, M, Mini Cooper and a Lancia Fulvia. Ooh, scrapage. Scrapage. <laughs> scrapage. That's low. Yeah. Oh, 
was a pet store. It's a brand. I said Morris Miners, minis, <laughs> and American trucks. <laughs> I'm a Supra! Dude, is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? We have a quieter dog. <laughs> fluffy dog. I think you're too big for my car, mate. Oh, you're so fluffy. <laughs> Look at this BMW 2002 in a Marlboro livery. That is amazing. And this, children, is a K20 with L Turbo. So this is an already massive Dodge Ram with some bolts on arches and a bulge in the bonnet and extra points for spotlights. So I'd like to do a walk around, but I think it'd take a little bit longer than the video allows. So this is a Dodge Ram with a Cummins turbo diesel engine and it's been wrapped in this kind of nardo grey colour. The massive spare wheel taking up most of the rear. It's just too big for the camera. I need to step back a bit more to fit it in. There we go. There we go. Put it holes. This makes you look quite small, doesn't it? Yes. I can hear a Subaru. I'd get that STI scene to if I were you. Can we all please take a moment to stop ignoring this GLE 63 AMG that we definitely haven't noticed yet? Because it's part next to a Sierra Cosworth. And here, boys and girls, we have a duck and a whale. Is that like a Salika Supra or something? I don't know, we'll see it. We've got this Ford Anglia hot rod that's had its whole front end removed to reveal the engine. It's got some green bits in it. What is inside his car has got some towels on the seats and then some foil everywhere else. Salika Supra. Wow, look at the exhaust, it's massive. Well, the back box is Evo 10, Morris Minor, Porsche Cayman, BMW Z4 Coupe, Vauxhall, VXR8, and then a Land Rover and a Tissy. So the Abarth obviously has an engine, and this is a Austin A35 with side badge deletes, obviously rate reduction. These are sporty cars. Most of them are turned into touring cars. They are actually used in racing. This one maybe not so much. And then a Expedition. Another raised truck. You don't see a lot of these in this country because there's absolutely no reason for them. You're more likely to find something like this little Mark 1 Miata MX-5 or an S3. Dude, is that a freaking Supra? And we've got this Dodge Challenger Hemi, which has been doing some battles in some mud. What? That was a bit random. Oh look, it's the Stig. Nice of him to make an appearance today. He's put some plexiglass in front of his headlights, so they work less. You might be thinking this is another Dodge Ram, but no, it's a Dugger Ram. And as well as being on real fake rotors, this Subaru is also on air next to this 400 brake modified Golf R. And remember folks, this is not a Toyota. This is a Toyota written in massive. Is that tip -X? No, probably not. But yes, again, this exhaust, it's the, uh, mm, uh, yes, fist test approved. Everyone's fisting my exhaust, I need to go smaller. I need a British racing green car in my life. And now let's sort of appreciate this Proton GLS. Say what you want, but it is rare you see more Mustangs on the road than you do Proton 1.5 GLS triple valves. Automatic, even better. They advertise right in the centre that it is an automatic. Ah, so you've got a tricycle coming in, but a Hurricane Performante Spider just drove by. That's a shame. When your supercharger is bigger than your engine. Oh, a Triumph GT6 Mark III. Where's GT6 Ollie when you need him? Right, and here we have a Ferrari F40. Oh, oh wait, no, it's 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 a Civic. Ooh. Oh no, it's leaving. Oh, the flag is up. So the Queen lives here as well. Wow, V8 Vantage. Hmm, 
Mmm, baby blue Audi R8. Right, so I have just caught some of the cars leaving and there will be a separate video for the cars leaving, so check that out. It's a link at the end of this one, but I'm going to go back into David's car and we're going to go home. And even though I've just come back from the Alps, I am absolutely freezing. It's horrible and brisk. So David's just warming up the Alpha. Look, all the cars have gone. <sighs> Warmth and working heating in a 72 car. That's the rarity. Oh my god, are we now leaving a car show from a POV view? An orange Land Rover Discovery goes by as we depart. slowing down car enthusiasts. The answer is a McLaren dealership. There's an F1 car in there. Can't really see anything. Mm. P1 in the service center, can't really see it. Uh, there's, some, there's some McLarens. There you go. But that was pretty much it, we're on our way home now, it's a bit of a boring route, so I'm going to end the video now, so thanks to DDM Historics for giving me a ride in his chariots today. Don't forget to follow both of us on Instagram, there and there, but for now, thanks for watching.